Hey everybody, Blaze here for Crackberry.com. Now I just wanted to go ahead and do up a quick video showing you guys something cool that we found within the BlackBerry 7.1 OS leaks that showed up today. Uh, previously we knew Research in Motion was working with the Digital Living Network Alliance to be able to go ahead and include DLNA in some of their devices. And uh, well, you, you pretty much don't get much better proof than this. Uh, basically within the 7.1 leaks that showed up today, uh, DLNA is actually enabled on the devices as you can see there on my PS3. That's my BlackBerry Bold 9900 currently connected to the PS3 uh, over the Wi-Fi. Um, basically it's just a setting that you have to enable on your device once you go into the media options you scroll down you can uh, control access um, basically block IP addresses whatever the case may be so that nobody else can stream your content uh, but either way, uh, DL DLNA is definitely on some of the uh, devices out there. Don Pokey had it on his 9810. Um, so we didn't get a chance to go through all of the OSs to find out which ones have it, but we definitely know some of them do. Um, so for example, if you are uh, got any content on your device, then you can basically go ahead connect it to a DLNA compatible device and bring up, uh, you know, for example, your pictures and stuff. Um, all of the content basically that's stored on your memory card is basically viewable on uh, your DLNA connected device. Uh, so we got the pictures, if we scroll through we can go to some music, all of your uh, songs and stuff that are basically on your SD card are all accessible. Uh, you can even go in and um, click on videos. If you have podcasts, you can download it, listen to the podcast. If they're video podcasts, then you can watch the video podcasts. Uh, but basically, that's it. Anything that's there, you can just go ahead and grab it. Um, take a look. This is the video streaming. This is the uh, the BlackBerry Bold 9900 introduction video. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much the gist of it. So Research in Motion is definitely working on uh, DLNA content for your device. And uh, like I say, it is currently now available in some of the OS leaks. Uh, if you haven't grabbed them, go ahead and grab them and check them out. They're supposed to be uh, really good for battery life as well. So that's it. Blaze out.